part of this concussion is last year that asked? Yeah, well, yeah, because I mean, I, I know for sure I have CT. I, well, I don't know for sure because they don't know until they do an autopsy when I'm dead. But a lot of the issues that they have, I have, you know. And from football, considering football, the amount of stuff I went through in wrestling, I mean, it's a good chance. And three severe car wrecks, you know. I mean, uh, the, the, the suit is not just about that, it's about WWE treating their employees fairly and, and, and not, not just with money, it's about treating them hu a human, you know, because they, they get away with, uh, they don't take care of people like they should, you know. I'm not saying money or any one thing, it's just stuff that goes on doesn't go on and the screen, SAG, actors have a union, NFL, NBA, NHL, you know, all these other things that generate money like that and they're at that level. You know, they have a, a union, they have things to better the the, uh, the environment they're in. It's not just money, it's just everything, you know. I mean, we don't have a, a mortality rate of any other sport or business profession like in wrestling. You know, I'm not blaming that on Vince, but I'm like, that's stuff that goes on. You know, some of those reasons are things that could be made so much better where guys would live longer and guys wouldn't have to work hurt because they'd have to be afraid of getting fired. You know, it's just basic stuff. I'm just hoping something good will come out of that. I'm not trying to get back at Vince, you know, or whatever. I just think it's something that's fair, you know. I mean, uh, the NFL was, you know, not acknowledging the, the, the danger that's involved with pro football. And, you know, they, they had the, they were ordered to pay out, but it's an appeal. None of those guys have got that. I know guys that are in the league that were on that. It was like a billion dollar settlement. It's all upheld because it's an appeal. So they may never see it, but it's still the point of it, you know, bringing to light how dangerous football is. And guys shouldn't have to push themselves to where Junior Seau, like he killed himself. I know that had to come out of CTE something because that guy was as rock solid as anybody. I played against him. It's heartbreaking when you see these guys take their lives and there's no, there's no drug use, there's no history of any insane behavior and you know they were probably dealing with stuff that they couldn't comprehend and they had no knowledge of that CTE and that probably ended up costing them if they just would have been acknowledged, you know, go to a doctor and say, well, this is what you have, this is why you're feeling like you can't take it, you know, and they're like, okay, well, I'm not crazy because, you know, because I deal with all that too, man, you know, mental stuff, you know.